Welcome back, everybody, to a new State of Decay 2 playtest Rome patch. This is the second patch for Update 37, and it just dropped today. It is full of goodies, so let's get through these as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, the first thing we need to talk about is a bit of bad news. There are no zombie spawning changes in this patch. Originally, Update 37 was going to be comprised of the Curveball customization sliders that are already out on the PTR, and the zombie spawning overhaul that would make zombie spawning feel more dynamic and realistic, reactive to what you do in the world. Zombies wouldn't just spawn again right behind you as soon as you turn around, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, that's such a large job, just such a core system that's so important to the game, literally controlling how all the zombies in the game spawn, that there was too much risk involved, too much time required, that unfortunately, according to a dev at Wushu, this feature has to be shelved for now. It's unclear if it's just for update 37 or if it's more permanent shelving, but he does ask for feedback, so if you really wanted this, as he says and recognizes that a lot of the audience did want this, make sure that Undead Labs and Wushu know that you support them working on this uh, feature more. Two new curveball events have been added. The first one is called Smokestorm. A chemical plant just outside of town exploded and has covered the area in a dense fog. So you'll be able to see here in a second, I have some footage of this. I got lucky enough to get this one very quickly. And it does definitely dampen your visibility. It also makes your radio uh, support actions no longer available, the same as radio silence. And also it makes the bloaters deal a little bit extra damage. So be careful there. The second new curveball is called Banger Nomics, and that will affect handling and performance of your vehicles. I'm not quite clear on what that means. Unfortunately, it's it's just random which ones you get, and I didn't want to play for you know 10 hours to hopefully guarantee that I got this one. But uh, luckily, I did get Smoke Storm, so you get to see that one. <laughs> Next, we have stronger flashlights and better nighttime lighting. So watch as I walk around this warehouse in the main branch right now. The flashlight doesn't reach to the opposite side, and when I shut off the light, it is nearly pitch black. Let's walk around here a little bit more, showing you exactly how light it is, and everything that's not in the flashlight is just pitch black. You can't see anything. So let's switch over to the PTR, and the flashlight is much stronger. You can see everything. The whole room, even the back wall while you're all the way up here, is light. And when you turn off the flashlight, you can still see what's going on. Next is a small change. They added a green mini-map marker that will point towards home at all times, so you don't have to open up the map and make your own waypoint. You'll have one there already. Next is a change that people have been asking for for literally years. When you threaten an enclave, you now get a confirmation. You actually want to threaten this enclave. It's so easy to accidentally threaten an enclave that this will be a very helpful change. Next is another update that has been requested for a long time. A way to easily enlist a specific follower from your community. Now you can open up the community screen, select the person, and enlist them as a follower from right there. They'll come running right over to you. The next one is a bit harder to show, but when you grab a locked door, you can now press back to just walk away from the door. You don't have to press dodge to let go of the door. So just press back, walk away, and it works perfectly. Next is a change that I'm really happy about. Currently, when you grab a zombie from the front, whether you mean to or not, you're stuck in this long animation and you usually get bitten on the neck almost immediately by the zombie facing you. Now, on the PTR, you can dodge and cancel that long animation and regain control almost immediately. Next is yet another change that has been requested for years. When a community member dies and becomes a zombie, there will now be a coffin icon on the map marking their exact location that will move with the zombie, so you will no longer have to look around the whole map trying to find their body. You can go right there, get all your stuff back. Next is another smaller change, but I'm actually really happy about it. You know these cinematic kill cams that happen often at the worst times? On the PTR, you can just turn them off completely if you want. Go to Settings, Gameplay, and then toggle kill cams enabled. Next is another change that's a bit hard to show, so often when your character shouts out that they just saw a feral or just saw a screamer, it'll turn out that that freak is quite a distance away from you or like on the other side of a wall. Well now they can only say that if they can actually see the freak. Next is a change that I'm a little bit iffy about. They made it so you slow down when you're driving in water. 
This is the main game, so you can see how fast you drive when in water. You don't really change speed at all. But then when you get into the PTR, you slow down to a snail's pace. I like the idea of this change, but currently it's way too slow in my opinion. Zombies run faster than you, so uh, hopefully that gets adjusted a little bit. And lastly, we have a change that could be very promising, but I'm not quite clear on what it means. So, they say they removed unfair zombie lunges. Remove the unintended unfair situation in which zombies could suddenly magnetize towards you with a grapple tackle attack, despite dodging past or away from you. Sounds good. I, I definitely had something like that happen, but I don't know exactly what they consider to be unfair. So we'll have to see through a lot of gameplay what exactly that means. Uh, but... I think that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.